Okay, this shows how much I paid for the Sony Handycam AX2000. Just $65 plus shipping and tax off of Facebook Marketplace. And let me get rid of that real quick. And then uh, this is the AX2000. Wait for the lighting to change a little bit. I'm recording in HD FH mode on the Sony HDR CX560. It's full high definition mode, 17 megabits a second. I had to remake this video, but it's okay. Okay, this is the screen on the AX2000. I'm going to turn it off in a second. That's the screen. You can see it's focused on the camera in front of it. But, uh, it's a three point. Let me go ahead and turn this off. But, uh, it's a 3.2 inch LCD screen. But it does have 921,000 pixels. Let me go ahead and show you this real quick. These are the menus inside of it. It is not a touch screen LCD screen, but you do have this. Let me turn night vision on see if you can see better. And um, you can see every time you use that little left, right, up, down thing, it's you got to press execute to activate what you want to go to. But it's okay. Because most of this stuff, let me show you that. Let me show you this. Uh, most of the buttons, the good buttons, are on the outside anyway. That's what a professional video camera is all about. And this is, let me turn off night vision and close the LCD screen. That's what it looks like. But um, this is a 3 CMOS sensor. That is three one-third inch sensors. So that's cool, progressive, you know, that's good. These are the buttons. This is the actual model name. I guess you can see that. HDR AX2000. Now this is from 2010. The guy I bought it from, he, um, he did TV and commercials and this is one of his extra cameras. That's good. I do have the FX, FX7 from from 2007 pretty cool too you can see that together they look big now this AX2000 is five pounds that's a lot for a video camera most of them are like you know most of them are like a maybe a pound or a pound and a half let me show you something else this is the AX100 that I usually do this is how I make my 4k videos let me get it closer so you can see that is the model number, let me just show you that. AX100 under it right there. This does have a one inch sensor. This is my best video camera for 4K and for anything. It's it's a, it's a one inch sensor and it's a 100 megabits a second. That's a lot for 4K. They do have 150 megabits, but for the AX1, AX1 is a professional one just like this, but smaller sensor for some reason than this one big sensors are better and you know and um yeah this is amazing let me just show you the side of it only thing bad about this that i really don't like besides it not having 4k is there is no night vision but normally you don't get that on these professional models i'll show you the back this is the viewfinder you see that and you can move it around you can look through it and leave the screen closed or you just turn the screen on i don't want to break it my hands are kind of strong but close it back the cool thing about this it's in brand new condition no scratches nothing perfect I love it and I'm really thankful too you know I've been searching on Facebook marketplace all the time looking for things you can actually zoom in on the top let me turn night vision on maybe that'll help the zoom is on the top and there's a record button up there too sorry about the lighting let me just turn this around so you can see the other side I'm not actually hurting it I'm just it's making noise but I'm not hurting it if you can have XLR input mic right there, it holds it in. Let me show you that. Let's see if I can open it up. Yeah, there we go. Wait, is that it? So you can put it in there and close it, and it holds your professional professional mic, I guess. And the regular microphone is right there. Let me turn night vision on. I'm recording with the CX560 from 2011. Still good, though. That's the, that's the regular mic and lens hood. Let me show you that. Pretty cool. These things make it look professional. This thing right here. And uh, see, what you can do is hold this with your hand. That's where your one, your right hand will go. Your right hand goes there, just like on much smaller version. You know, it has that too. Put your hand in there and stuff. There's also a zoom right there and record. Let me turn it this way. And there's a record right there. You press record. That's how you turn it on too. That's the only way to turn it on. I'm pretty sure. 
But there's also a record button right there, which is good. Turn that down. And uh, the best thing about this, though, it does take SD cards. It's not, it's not HDV like this one is. You can actually still, I can still use this and hook the HDMI to like a separate device and get a record to the separate device and still get the footage from this video camera, which is cool. There's also a 3 CMOS sensor. And uh, let me show you what I was going to do. Well, let me show you this. Uh, this does have two memory card slots, A and B, so that's pretty awesome. I mean, one's enough, but it's cool that it has two. There's a battery goes in there. There's both memory card slots. Battery release. There's also, let me turn this up. Also, what does that say? Headphone monitor for if you wear headphones to hear this audio. Pretty cool. This is pretty, this is really good for 2010. Let me show you these other things. Let me see if I can do this. I, don't, I haven't even looked in the area yet. That's for, let me show you the turn off a bit, turn off the night vision. Yellow, white, red. Let me open this. Open both of them. That's for other component out. USB. And I guess let me look in there. It's HDMI out. HDMI out. Is that full size? Looks like it. Yeah, it is. There's a DC in if you want to charge it with this. Pretty cool stuff. Let me close all these things. Let me show you the battery compartment. I mean, on, I might need night vision if she can see, can see this, but let me show it to you like this. Oh, yeah, I can set it up like that. That's fine. <laughs> okay, now you can see this is where the battery goes. It's actually a good battery, but it don't even stick out all the way. And actually, I do have, I think I messed it up when I was making the video, but I had them all lined up. This is the three extra batteries it comes with. We turn off night vision so you can see. These, I guess, are the real thing. That's the kind of battery NP. Pretty cool. There's three of them right there, as you can see. Right here, this is the video slot, or battery battery slot. We plug that in so it don't look broke. But uh, I'm really fortunate to have this video camera. I check the time at seven minutes, seven and a half almost. Let me show you how the battery comes out. Push this and comes out just like that. This is how big the battery is. Let me show you the slot. Too dark, uh, but uh, yeah, kind of tired right now. Sorry, if I'm. I don't know. I didn't sleep. I didn't sleep that good last night. But this is what the battery is. It's a um, 750. I guess that's the medium size and looks like it. I guess these are like the 550. That'd be the small ones, small as you can get. So I'm guessing there's a 950 that does take up the full battery compartment. Well, let me put this back in and make sure I'm doing it right. I guess it'd have to be on the top. Is that in? Is it in? Let me try to take it out. Thanks everybody for watching my videos. You know, I haven't been uploading a lot, but hopefully you stuck around and waited for me or, you know, these other YouTubers to watch anyway, but hopefully... Hopefully you didn't forget about me, I guess. Oh, that's kind of bad. Not really. And now it's now it's in, I guess. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to make... Okay, there we go. This camera, this video camera is 14 inches long. That's pretty big compared to something like the CX-210 from 2012. Look at the size difference. That's crazy. Look at this. Pause the video. That's crazy. Look at the difference, the size difference. I do have the from 2000. This is from 2008 SR10 SR or CX CX130 from 2011 CX210. But at the same time, I do have. Let me show you these. This is also from 2010 the XR550. I made a lot of videos of this with me and my best friends and stuff. This was good. The cool thing about it, you know, it's the top of line model from 2010. And it does, there is a CX-550 version, just no hard drive. I don't know if I can get this open. Hold on one second. It takes two hands, but yeah, wait, let me, what did I push? There we go, I got it. Hold on, wait. Yeah, it's hard using one hand, but that's a 3.5 inch screen. Don't have the battery in, but cool thing about this, it does have night shot mode. Well, can you see it? Yeah, right there. I just hate that it's like right by the, well, actually this one's smart. That This smart one, they put the power button down there and so you don't get them confused that's actually really amazing sometimes they put them like right next to each other and you have to actually check every time just to be sure 
this is a, this would have been like 1500 back in 2010 but I still use the AX100 this one's still the best one inch sensor 100 uh, what is it 100 megabits for a video this one is still good but you have to be careful the night shot button is right there and the power buttons like right there but you have to check every time almost but look at the size difference wait let me just do this real quick whoops okay sorry if I'm not a professional but you know wait hold on let me get a little bit closer it's okay even though it's making noise it's okay look at the size difference crazy let me turn off night vision pretty crazy stuff Hopefully this video looks good. I'm about to set to stop it in a minute. All right, everybody, let me just close this one more time, and I guess it'll turn off. Yeah, thanks everybody for watching my videos. I do appreciate it so much. And you know, just yeah, I've been living my life, enjoying my life. I've been, you know, I stay productive. I lift weights and all that. And lately, I've been doing 50 pounds each arm with steel weights, no adjustable, you know. I do them like one, I lift the left arm, let it down, lift the right arm, let it down, and do it a lot. Yeah, sorry if I sound tired, but uh, it's okay. But, uh, yeah, I think that would be good for my rest of my life, 50 pounds in each arm. That's good enough for a grown man, you know. But, uh, yeah, this is everything, and uh, just thanks everybody for watching my videos, and this is a little bit of bonus footage right here. There's some Minecraft stuff. I bought Minecraft on every console, Switch, Vita. 3DS, and there was another one, I think. Uh, I don't even know where it went, but... Their Wii U... I think I'm missing something, but... Maybe that's all, I don't know. Yeah, thanks everybody for watching my video, though. This is the AX2000 video. This would have been 3500 brand new. I don't have proof of that, but if you look it up from back then, you'll know. It's really good for $60. Thanks everybody for watching my videos. I'm going to go ahead and stop the video. Just thanks for watching, and I will talk to you later.